This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this pop-up live trading session. It's a little different time doing it before the market opens a little bit. I wanted to kind of give some background about what's going on in the markets. Looks like we're going to open up big once again over 1%, almost 1.5% on the ES. Um, the Dow is almost 2%, and the Russell percentage-wise a day is leading the pack. It's up um, over 3% right now, and the NASDAQ is the, is the lagger, but as you know, it's been outperforming um, all the other indexes, so maybe it's good that it's it's uh, lagging behind, but but in previous recent uh, in recent history, when the NASDAQ has been um, falling behind, it will catch back up a little later in the day. So um, you, know, you have these big companies that's in that NASDAQ 100 that are people, um, you know, retail investors, and it's not just obviously retail investors, it's institutions, hedge funds, and so forth, is bidding up these certain companies here. Like Tesla, as you can see, is, is going to, it's not open yet, but when it does open, I'm talking about the options are not open yet, but when it does open, it's gonna be up, um, you know, it's going to be up over 20 points, and then we have we have Apple that looks like it's going to open up quite a bit. Um, it's going to open up about six points up, a little over six points. Um, we have the other Netflix, which is um, which this is the only this is one of those high flyers that's going to actually open a little lower. This is what it's closed at yesterday. So Netflix is going to open a little lower. Then we have um, we have Microsoft, which looks like it's going to open a little higher, but not too much higher um, than what it was, a little under a dollar. And we got Facebook, that's um, that's going to open up a little a little more than a dollar. Um, so all of that, and then obviously the big the big guy, uh, Amazon, um, that's actually going to uh, is right now the it, it, it's going to open up a little lower. Um, and let's look at Google. And Google looks like it's going to open a little lower. Um, to potentially, it all depends on where it, where it opens because the 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 ask is higher than what it closed at yesterday, as you can see here. Um, so we will see how this market opens this morning. We look looking at the looking at the market right now. We have um, if we go to just to see what the European market did this morning. It is, you know, it's pretty green across the board in Europe. In Europe, we have the DAX, which is Germany. It's up almost two percent. Uh, the FTSE is up almost two percent. The CAC, which is France, is almost is up almost two and a half percent. So it's 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 green across the board. Asia last night was a mixed bag. With Shanghai is the only thing down. Shanghai is obviously China. Uh, the Nikkei was up. Um, Hong Kong was basically flat. Australia was up almost two, um, almost two percent. So now we are, you know, just looking at this, looking at this market and seeing when we're going to hit the all-time highs for the the ES, because you know, that's what the professionals consider the, the broad market is the S&P 500. So we are about 170 points or so away from um, the all-time high. So we're not too we're not too far behind that all time high now on the on the ES. It's already up on the year. It's past its 50 day moving average and its 200 day moving average. Um, the 200 day moving average is this gold line. The the, the 50 day moving average is basically this this bluish line to here. So it's 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 amazing to me um, how much we're continuing to go up. But um, that is the that is the game now, so you have to be able to uh, play the game accordingly, uh, or as the old adage says, you you play the cards as that you are dealt. So um, if you are trying to supplement your income doing this, uh, you know, trading and so forth, and that's what we're all about, right? Is making income through this, then you have to you have to make monies regardless if the market is going in one direction ridiculously or or uh, or or fairly. So that is, that's just the nature of this game. 
So looking at this account here, um, going over, it looks like this oil position that we put on um, over the last week and a half or so, whatever the case may be, is up about um, 20, up about $20 since we started flat this morning um, for the most part. And then, um, so nothing to be done. Um, done there. This is an ES position that we put on that was a synthetic type of iron condor. We sold the call spread, a 10-point wide call spread on the ES. And then in concert, or, or, or very shortly after, we sold a put spread in the RTY to kind of have a synthetic um, iron condor. So if this is going up, most likely the ES is going down, or we're hoping that it's you know stays in a decent range, but it, um, but we did it that way so that if the ES or the RTY gets threatened, you can easily add the other side. So in this case, if we go to this 23 days, and we we got about you know eight more days in this trade, but this this call side is being um, threatened. We probably started this around the 15 delta. It's now at the 27 delta. And so that's that's the upper range of our um, um, zones. You know, so we got the zero to 15 is green, everything is fine. Delta wise, 16 to 30, that's our yellow area. And then anything over 31 is our red area. So we're in the high yellow area now. So we wanna be you know, a little bit more cautious. So in this case, what I could do is move this a little bit, right? I can do a full roll away. Um, but the max loss on this position is it's $50, 50 times 50 time 10, because it's only a 10 point wide spread. So we're looking at um, 200 and, uh, or $500 is the max loss on this, on this trade. So um, in this case, we're going to, um, we're gonna move this, we're gonna try to move it, um, in concert on the Tastyworks platform. And as you know, you you can't move it anywhere you want on options on futures on the Tastyworks platform. So you have to do, the, the width of the spreads have to be equal. So what I'm gonna do here, this is a this is a 10 point wide spread here. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this to here. This is gonna be our new short. And our new long is going to be here. So this is going to be 10 points wide. It looks a little weird because this is a five point wide increment inside. So I'm moving, I'm moving this to here and this to here. And that's that's going to be, this is gonna be 10 points wide between all these legs, as you can see. This is um, it's 10 points wide between the, the 30 and the 40, 10 points wide between the 40 and the 50, and 10 points wide between the 50 and the 60. So this is the trade we're gonna do. We're just gonna move it from the 27 delta to a 23 delta, just buying a little bit more time. The market might go down today, might go back up. I mean, it might go up more. We might be up 80 points instead of 40 points. So in that case, I'm gonna kind of test this here. I'm gonna put it in at the 50 and send this. And um, then I'm going to make sure I get filled here. So the mid is not 50. So we're gonna try 60 here, see if we can get filled. It's gonna be a 30, $39, I'm rounding that up and still not filled. And so maybe we'll get filled at the 65, but um, that's a $41 now. So got filled at the 41. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to go and get those monies back on the put side, right? So in this case, I only need, I need $41. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna look at, that's a 10 point wide spread. I might do the, the put side a little um, a little wider. So I mean, no more than 20 points if I'm doing above the 10 delta. So, or the 10, between the 10 and the 15. So this is, this is the case here. It's about 20 point wide spread. If I do that, I'm gonna get before fees and commission $75. And you can see it's going to increase my buying power. It's encouraging me to do this type of trade. So I'm going to try to see if I can send this at the 12 delta um, and see if we can get filled. And we got filled right away, as you can see. So now we just we just changed the ball game a little bit with 23 days to go, kind of flatten those deltas out on the ES, that ES position, as you can see here. It's basically flat down to the negative side there. Um, so we're looking at gold this morning. We put on a gold position, I believe. Um, 
think we maybe did this last Thursday, last Friday, and it's up about $10 since we did it, but it's, it's still quite a bit of time to go, so we're not gonna do anything there. I wanted to offset the gold by selling a silver position, and I noticed yesterday that you can do the silver now in Thinkorswim, so if you're in Thinkorswim and you wanna do a silver trade, you can now do it in um, Thinkorswim as well. So on the, so I'm looking at, looking to do this because the it's kind of kind of you know synthetic meaning that we sold the call side on the um the gold futures and then if we sell the put side on the silver futures you know if one is going up um you know maybe you may, maybe i'll be making one they're probably both going in up but they're normally going up both going up or both going down so this is a more of a synthetic type of iron condor if quickly just look at this this chart here and we look at this chart and you can see that silver has been going up quite a bit right it's been going up with the market historically it 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 goes up if the market's going down same as gold but it didn't uh, recently it's been going the same direction as the market so i sold that gold to um to in, to indirectly short the market and that's actually played played out a little bit, even though the market has been going up, gold has been slowing down to the upside. So this is gold here, as you can see, it's been going up as well. So now, I yesterday I wanted to sell silver because it was down, but it's up again a little bit today. So um, it's 42 days ago. So if I want to sell something in, in silver, I'm gonna go down, I'm looking at this expected move here and it's about two. So if I if I go to like 758, 1758, let's see what that looks like. So it's about around this area, maybe the 12 delta, something like that. It's two times the expected move. Uh, if I go to this, let's go to this, set, this 12 delta here, this 17.5, and let's look to see what kind of trade we can put on there. Um, just before we do that, let me show you this call set. Actually, we don't have any call side, so this is perfect. Um, and we do that. And so that's $50. That's $55 before fees and commissions. Max loss is only $445. So if I did two contracts there, that would give me $110 with a max loss on the $900. Um, buying power is insignificant, but I still don't like that trade. Um, um, I would want to receive at least $100. So if we do that, that's going to receive at least $100, but um, my max loss goes to 1300 which is not bad. But um, so we go like that, and if we go, let's say if we move this one to a half like that. All right, so that, that goes to bail. The market just opened. If you, I'm not sure if you were able to hear that. So if I do this 121, um, if I do this, I can get 121, and then I'm going to just see what is What's the mid, right? What's the mid between these two so that I can get, I can get, I can move this if I, if I wanted to, right? So you got the 17.5 plus the 17.25 divided by two. The mid is 17.37 or, uh, so I don't have a mid that I can do there, right? So um, if I go and move this to here and I go 17.50 plus 17.30, um divided by two that's going to be 17.4 so there there's a mid that i have there right so i can i can easily adjust this if i had to from the 17.5 to the 17.4 and i can do that in concert so that's what that's one i'm looking to do and see if i can get at least a hundred dollars so what i'm going to do is move this up to 22 and and then I'm going to send it at 22. And if I get filled at 22, I get the hundred dollars that at least that I want. So I'm letting that sit. And then if I go over to look at these other stuff here, this is a natural gas that we put on. Um, I'm not sure, maybe Monday or so, uh, or last Friday as well. We sold a naked put in this natural gas. So far, it's doing okay. We're up five dollars, and. We'll see how that plays out. This is a, a NASDAQ position that expires tomorrow. I haven't been able to get out of this. All these numbers are incorrect. This is this is this has been a huge win. So if I put this in right now to see if they will close me out, I'm gonna hit the balance there. I'm gonna put it in at five and see if they'll close me out. And then we go over here 
and put in this last one because it's two different contracts. So I have to put it in separately and send this and see if we can get filled. And but if we don't, that's fine. We're 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 at one delta here. Um, so I'm not, and I will let this expire without forcing this unless they, you know, take that capital from me. Um, all right, so we got the RTY here. This has been a position that we, we we talked about the synthetic part of the ES, and then this was a position we had on already. These are obviously doing pretty well. It's up this is up fifty one dollars so far this today, um, up fifty six percent. The total position is up that. So I like all of these positions right now. Looking looks like it's been a uh, it's 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 a green morning so far. So we'll see how it plays out. Even though this market is up pretty big. Um, um, but this account, as you can see with these deltas, are pretty flat, leaning a tiny bit short. Um, all right, so let's let's look at a couple of um, let's look at a couple of trades that we can potentially do in um, some of these. Um, let's look at in some stocks really quickly. You got Goldman Sachs that's up huge. And let's look and see what it came out with earnings did really did, did really well on his equity trades for the quarter. And that's just, you know, obvious if they buy and stuff, you know, anyone that was buying equities over the last, you know, two and a half months has done awesome. Right. So um, so they had their best quarter in a long time. And I'm, but I'm sure the previous quarter was pretty poor. All right, so this is Goldman Sachs, and um, if this is the chart on it, if you are thinking that the the move is uh, up too much, or if you're thinking it's going to stay in a you know a little range here, as you can see, then maybe you can do um, some type of iron condor in here with 37 days to go or a call spread. So if we look at the uh, at the call spread and kind of fade this move a little bit, um, sell the 13 delta and by the um the 270 is a 10 point wide spread um i don't like it but this because you're not getting 100 but it's still a decent trade um regarding stock wise it's still a decent trade um if you iron condor this off right and as i say you do it a little bit you you skew it a little bit so you go to the eight here um and sell the the 75 there so there you go right you get your you get your 100 117 before fees and commissions so you know it's going to be 100 afterwards your max losses um, under 900 so this is a 12 percent return on your capital this could be a potential trade that you can do um and then if you feel like something like uh you know something like apple is way too high um and you want to fade that kind of move a little bit i would i would go is the expected move right here is 36 right so um let's just say two times the expected move is probably around three four four uh 460 so you can you can sell you can sell this 13 delta and i mean 13 delta 460 within the next 36 37 days you know you're not going to stay in it that long by the 470 um it's not giving you that much there for that 10 point wide spread so I don't, I don't like this trade i would scratch it or i would turn it into an iron condor as well um but obviously um a lot lower on the put side so there we go that's a seven delta so now after fees and commissions you should still get at least a hundred dollars um so you get to 12 percent so if you don't think Apple's going to fall a lot within the next 37 days and kind of slow down to the upside, this would I this would be a decent trade. All right, so let's open it up for any questions. I don't have very long today because I do have a nine o'clock, but let's see if we have any questions this morning. Um, I know a number of you came on a little later um, this morning. I I had to do the 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 pop-up live session around 8.15 this morning because I do have a nine o'clock and I have to kind of prepare for that. Um, but with that said, this any questions to this point? Um, um, if if you have any questions, please unmute your mic and present that question. If not, let's, uh, let's call this quits um, for this morning. I will send this recording out. So if you missed it, you'll be able to see it. 
Um, we, we are trying to put on a tr take off the NASDAQ um, position that we've been trying to take off for a while. It's two different trades. And we're trying to sell a, um, an, um, a spread in SI. If you, if you didn't hear me, the spread, uh, um, if you on think of swim, you can do the silver. Now they, they open that up and, um, and all right. So that's it. That's all I wanted to point out this morning. Everyone be vigilant about your trading. I, you know, the, if your deltas get out of whack, please put your deltas in line and, um, don't be afraid to, uh, sell that call side. Just stay small. Um, it, cause that, that is the play right now. Um, we, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if we do fall back, but it's, it's been strong since we opened up last night and only got stronger into, as we got closer to the bell ring and then this morning, but, um, um, I'm not afraid to sell a call side. You can still make money selling that call side. You saw you've. Um, a number you've noticed if you were on the call, I adjusted this call side this morning. I only had the call side on, so then I was able to move it. Um, and then I added the put side and was able to easily finance that. So good morning so far. With that said, um, everyone try to have a great morning and um, we'll check, I'll check in with you throughout the day. Thank you.